Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Betul. If this is your first time here, tomorrow I'm going with my family to uh, British Columbia, specifically to Vancouver and Vancouver Island. I can't be more excited for this trip. Uh, we live in Ontario, so that's gonna be our first time there. The province got the ocean, the mountains, the great weather. But I'm very, very excited for this trip. We're flying tomorrow from Ontario, you know, vlogging the entire trip, and hopefully you'll see it by the end of this video. I hope you enjoy watching, and now let's get started. So those are the main outfits I'm gonna bring, bring with me to Vancouver. So I tried to bring um, a few jumpsuits, skirts, tops, and um, things suitable for hikes. Try to match this D G ring as you can see uh pleated skirt with this top is so beautiful and modest so i highly recommend it and then we move into the second outfit so i got this skirt from modernisa it's a white casual skirt with this um golden um top it's it's a lantern sleeve so it's so beautiful and chic moving on to the third outfit so this is a suit it's very modest with wide legs i got that from sophia clothes so from turkey uh very high quality and very very modest so and then you probably saw that on my instagram i love this floral uh print and white leg jumpsuit so comfortable and suitable for summer moving on to the second jumpsuit i have this um button front lantern sleeved and pleated legs so highly recommended for hijabi girls i'll show you how i match that with the hijab that i got from um, i love modesty and then the last jumpsuit is this color i really love it i'll match it because it's a short sleeve but i love it because it also got the pleated legs so whenever i order jumpsuits i try to have pleated legs or wide legs just to provide like extra modesty so try to look for that whenever you order jumpsuits and finally this blue casual cardigan along with um white shirt and maybe uh, white pants or jeans would be um, suitable for hikes and so those are the main outfits i'm bringing with me but definitely i'll have like a few more uh, but as you can see try to have try to have a variety of skirts jumpsuits and like casual stuff for walking and um hikes so for my footwear i have all these um shoes and flats so i have this golden flat i really like it i probably you saw this flat before it fits with the outfit that i'm bringing with me i have this also nike air max 97 um they designed they're engineered for um all day everyday use so i'll probably use them for hikes they match the color of the woods and um a few of my outfits i'm bringing with me we also have here the sneakers like the classic sneakers i guess from michael kors um i love white sneakers and you it's it's uh, recommended to get you know sneakers that are neutral colors and match with um different outfits so white black and gray uh, sneakers would always come handy whenever you're traveling and then you have wedge heels uh, sneakers from michael kors and i have this red and gold uh, flip-flop that i'll probably match with my uh, swimsuit and I finally i have this classic gray clog uh, it's very comfortable i could also wear it whenever i'm going to the beach or i'm just going for a walk there's a lot of walking in vancouver we're going mainly to um, natural places so you know bringing a lot of um, good heel shoes would um, definitely be um, a good investment for this trip moving on to my skincare products i'm bringing with me um if we start with the first one from uh, clearance um this is the one step gentle exfoliating cleanser as you can see i'm very well in love with this product i probably uh, would use that for the entire trip and after that i'll just order a new one from their website or buy it in person but i really love it it's um it has uh, orange extract it works for all skin types leaves your skin so um, moisturized and clean so highly recommend that if we go to the next one so this is the um, yeah as you can I don't know if you can see it but this is the Lise Bautier this is the best in my opinion this is the best eye uh, makeup remover um, it's water-based so it doesn't cause any irritation or burning to your eyes 
um, it just leaves the eye area very soft um, and removes everything um, magically so I, I got that from shoppers you can get that as well from their website um, or in person but highly highly recommended so moving on to the moisturizing products I First of all, use this um, Dove Original um, Beauty Cream Bar. It's the blue and white, if you can see it from the outside. So it's it works for all skin types, especially for dry skin. Definitely leaves the, um, the skin so moisturized. And after that, you can follow that by Ole um, Regenerist Luminous. Sometimes I use that, but most of the time I just um, be fine with this um, Dove so it's really amazing especially if you have dry skin finally let me show you those two sunscreen products so for the you know for the entire body except the face um, especially for us hijabis i use avene for the hands and the feet so this is of the mineral lotion with spf 50 that works for allergic skin so if you have allergies or you have special sensitivities use this one um, this is from Shoppers Drug Mart, but it's a good quality and it lasts for um, at least four to six hours. So I um, highly recommend that. For the, your face, however, I recommend getting this um, product from Neora, this Age IQ from Neora. It's amazing. It doesn't show that you have sunscreen. It's, uh, it comes with SPF. 40 um, but i love it i use it so far it's a bit pricey but it was it. it's definitely worth it especially if you want to put something on your face so this is for the face this is for the hands and feet or like your entire body so those are all my skincare products and finally for my hijabs i'm bringing a mix of chiffon and jersey hijabs as you can see i try to have a uh, more warm tone to my hijabs to match the colors of my outfit but um, definitely can get a cold tone if that would fit your skin um, better I got those from I love modesty I lo got those from a local store um, that doesn't have you know a website but you can definitely find similar um, kind of hijabs on modernisa or culture hijab and for my just a final tip I recommend that you wear those for airports because they don't require an under cap and those ones they just whenever like you actually doing the activities on your trip because they're way lighter they'll allow a lot of air to pass through the cab so that's it for my hijabs and the other stuff that I need to bring with me on this vacation and now the only thing left is to put them all together So we're just gonna spend this evening relaxing at the hotel and then um, getting ready for tomorrow. Um, in the meantime, I just said, let me go and just work out for a bit. And I'm very lucky because there's no one at the gym right now. My brother might join me later, but yeah, I'm just gonna like take you with me on a tour. So I'm wearing my modest swimsuit uh, with my Michael Kors um, white sneakers so this is very handy because you can't only use it for swimming um, it's also perfect for working out so i'm just gonna try it out tonight and just use it when we go to the beach so good morning so we just got ready and we're heading to Capilano Suspension Park. I believe this is the perfect place to start your um, discovery to Vancouver, especially if you uh, want something adventurous and you want to see the nature at the same time. So go there first and hopefully after that we're going to Stanley Park and then um, to English Bay to see the sunset. So it's going to take us an entire day. Um, it's going to be very, very busy, but I'm very excited because I get to see what Vancouver has to offer. So let's go ahead. So we just arrived. This is a map for the place. Um, here we are, and then we need to go 
all the way to the Capilano Suspension Bridge and then the cliff wall and the industry shops adventure. As you can see, there are um, eight big trees that um, make those treetop adventures. They're so old. I think I read they're like 250 years old. So I can't wait to discover all this place. Um, they say usually you need to like to spend three or four hours, but I guess we're gonna spend more than that. So, I'm now almost in the middle of the bridge. Yeah. It's so cool. And you can see here. The so as you can see, as I'll show you in a second, this is the river, Kaplana River, and you can see it's moving. <laughs> All right, I, I, it's 100% safe. If it's 97 elephants or 13,000, 1300 people, so it's 100% safe. As you can see, it's built with um, very strong material. Um, so just enjoy. Oh my god. So I'm not gonna lie, if I told you it's not scary. <laughs> it's definitely scary. And I don't know who's jumping on the bridge. So it's so. It's moving right and left. Maybe it's the wind, but definitely. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be fine. Um, my family is just on the other side, so I'll just be catching up with them. What's your feeling? Um, glad it, we uh, it was made scary, it. was scary, right? Well, in the beginning I was running and then the guy announced do not run on the bridge and I'm like... I don't know who was yeah, shaking. You're right. Someone was shaking like or jumping on the Definitely bridge. Definitely not me. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's keep going. And this is for the uh, research that we have? Yeah, so this is actually a scavenger hunt. Mm -hmm. So something you can do is you go around the park and inside there's a series of questions uh -huh. and you can actually find the answers and the clues just down along this pathway. There's signs as you go around. Oh, mm -hmm. And then once you finish with it, you bring it back to the person standing by the suspension bridge and you'll get a prize for it. Oh, nice, nice. So there's another adventure at Lanthi, so I'll show you here. I'm not sure if I can zoom, but there are the bridges that I showed you at the entrance, they're here. Um, it's an adventure that you go all the way to the end where you have an ice cream shop. The place is amazing. I didn't know that Canada got all that beauty for so long. Owls, they, they don't really care about people and the funny, funniest thing is we can imitate animal noises. She's able to tell the difference between animal noises and people making animal noises. And she's trying so hard to focus on nature right now. to Golden Stream Falls. So we're going there and then we're heading to um, Victoria down downtown. So we're gonna um, discover the area, the old, the parliamentary buildings. Now um, we just arrived, I'm just going to show you before we go down all the study areas, some people if you want, if you have like work or if you want to um, study or do something, you can come here and this is all, it's, it's huge, oh my god, um, charging stations and 
cool stuff is that you have the outside deck so there you go welcome it's really nice and you have the windshield here so um, it gets super cold and windy when you go um, outside so you can come sit here and enjoy the ride without being super cold but that's it for now and i'll see you on the island So we're at the hotel in Sydney, which is 20 minutes away from Victoria, the capital city of uh, British Columbia, and they give us this little um, basket. The hotel is really nice. It's like a small, cute one because it's an island. An island. Um, we're just gonna get more breakfast. I think this is not enough, so we're gonna yeah, have breakfast, get ready to explore the city, and yeah. So I'm just gonna show you the hotel. It's really nice, cute, and small one right at the waterfront um usually here they don't have like um huge hotels so this is like all like the design of the hotel is inspired by it's inspired by the nature on the island which is really nice and cool i highly recommend staying here if you're coming uh, for like a, a day or two it's a really nice one Good morning, this is day four. Um, we just got ready and we're heading to the Botanical Beach and then the Butchard Gardens. So um, the activities for the day is still on Victoria Island. And we're gonna spend the day here before heading back to the main island slash Vancouver in the evening. I'm very, very excited. I'm gonna get to swim today. So I brought my swimsuit. I'm getting that ready. I might switch that uh, hijab to the Nike hijab bro that I showed you before, the black one. So I'll see. We're heading first to the botanical beach. It's very nice in the morning because we're gonna get to see the tide pool. That's our last day on the island. We're just gonna check out from the hotel. It's really cute one. Um, we didn't enjoy our stay. Only stayed for one night. So we're heading um, now to the beach and then to the garden. Hopefully we'll be able to see a few other stuff but those are the main two activities that we're gonna do. The garden is amazing. It got five gardens inside the main garden which is insane. I can't wait to see all the flowers and stuff like that. I'll take you with me. So now let the day get started. Just arrived at Charlie's Village. We have here Charlie's Delicious. This is one of the best places to get dessert in town. Uh, we're only 20 minutes away from uh, Butcher Beach. If you're coming to this beach, come to Charlie's Delicious, and they're so cute. I'll show you around. I love this. Um, lemon and blueberry it's gluten-free muffins so better if you have any allergies yeah get that one when you come here and they have all those desserts so we just made it we're at botanical beach um, as you can tell I'm ready to go swimming I just had my couple of layers i have my swimsuit i have the sweater because it's really cold here and i have my life jacket i'm just gonna swim at the ocean for the first time i can't be more excited so as you can see this entire area will be covered with water when the tide is in there's a boat over there I was wondering how it was able to park when there whether there wasn't any water but basically it parked in whenever the, the tide was in and now it's waiting because the tide is out. It's really nice. It changed my definition of beaches for sure. Good 
Good morning, this is day five. We were super tired yesterday when we arrived uh, from Victoria Island, but alhamdulillah, we got enough sleep and now we're just ready to go to Whistler Village. We booked the entire day at Whistler Village. The road there is amazing and let's go. So we just arrived at the top of the mountain, we have then so we're here and then we're gonna uh, maybe walk a little bit. So as you can tell, it's almost two kilometers um, away from the black comb base. So it's really high and as you can see, um, it's very foggy and I love it because, you know, just gonna be through this wintry um, vibes. So too much things to do. To explore the hiking and walking trails and ride the peak to peak gondola but then we'll have the gondola back to Whistler village so um, we'll see what awaits us here but the Whistler summit is around 2182 meters high and here's the fast fact there is a thing from what I understand there is this electric project uh, that returns 32 gigawatts an hour of electricity annually to the grid that's equal to Whistler's back home's annual energy consumption so that's really nice they, um, it's also an educational tour about the um, sustainable uh, projects that they're trying to implement in the region in winter people come here for skiing and they have um, other activities to do all over the years so that's really cool again we had something to do here so here we are again um, two days in a row there are a lot of amazing places to stay in mashallah we honestly wish we stayed in Whistler and then um, moved to other places as we go but anyways um, I got this jacket yesterday because it was really um, cold up the mountain I'm keeping it out um, with me and today we're going to the Sasquatch and then hopefully um, we'll finish that by 5 p.m. and then head back to Burnaby for dinner with uh, one of the epic communities who invited us here. We're super super excited for our day. This is our fifth day or sixth day. I honestly can't remember but <laughs> anyways yeah two more days left before our trip ends and I can't be more excited to discover just to open up what BC has to offer. day so we're heading now to stanley park everyone recommended it so we're heading there now we're gonna rent a three hour bike that's it for today we're gonna wrap everything up by the evening to get ready for our flight tomorrow Moving on to 
the last part of today's video those are the souvenirs we got from bc so we have two parts of souvenirs so the first one is high quality dates we got them as gifts from our family friends here in bc they're super high quality dates as you can tell so we got four of them and the amazing hidden gems are um driftwood and shells that we got from the pacific ocean when we went to victoria island so i can't show you the things here they're super sensitive but i can't wait to go back to ontario and make one of the corners at home um filled with those amazing arrangements from seashells and stuff like that they're so unique they're only um, uh, available at ocean specifically at the pacific ocean so it's just gonna be an amazing memory from vancouver and british columbia overall those are the best gifts honestly to bring with us back to our province and yeah that's it for today's video i hope you'll find that's very helpful please come to vancouver british columbia if you can you're gonna find amazing places here and you'll feel yourself at home so that's it for today and we'll see you next time bye